welcome to Weekdays with TCF, presented by From the Sideline. We are a little late here, but... Um, Apologies. That's but, where yeah. our work goes. Uh, I, wish this was, <laughs> I wish this was our main job. This yeah, should, exactly. Maybe we should just turn it into that. If, if we could get paid to do it, we would definitely consider it. But just don't, we don't, just we don't be get, bums. Yeah, just be bums. Just, we'll work for the, we just need Wi-Fi money. And, yeah, uh, that's really it. Enough to be able to talk Pay to the, the camera. TV bill. Yeah, we could... Ramen noodles. I am a big fan of big ramen fan noodles, of ramen. so I uh, will do that. But if you want to follow us on Twitter, um, if you want to follow some sad content uh, from <laughs> me, I'm not a very good gambler as of late. It's just been kind of sad. But we're going to turn it around. We're going to get some win- winners, uh, some positive vibes, uh, hopefully, yeah, because we'll I really need some winners. We'll I feel like I have to go on a hot streak at some point. As cold as I've been, yeah. you've got to get hot. But if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Zlilja, L-A-L-J-A, uh, T-C-F. Uh, the main page is at typical underscore Chicago. Uh, from the sideline, bear with me. Uh, at sideline, the first I in sideline is a one. Uh, sports, again, that is at sideline. The first I in sideline is a one. Sports, uh, if you want to follow that. Uh, and then we are watching us here on Typical Chicago Fans Facebook. We do this show usually between Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, between 7 and 8, I'd say now I usually say 8, but now we're going yeah. live at 7. But it's whenever we can get it going. Uh, we have done some special week de- weekend ones. We're trying to do that a little bit more, too. Maybe try and do yeah. some remotes some places. Um, my dream is to do this somewhere in a bar. Yeah. That's my goal. Yeah, I think I think in our twenty four or our 12-month calendar, I think that should be our goal is to do this from a bar. That's our goal. Um, but if you want to follow us on there, like I said, we've got our podcast on there. And then also from the sideline, like I said, put our podcast videos, uh, some blogs <laughs> that we do. Uh, what, what's the, I already got people chiming in about my Packers gear. Thought I was a cool guy until they saw the Packers gear, but hey, not, it is what wrong. It is, man. not wrong, not <laughs> wrong. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can follow them on there and then Instagram, typical Chicago fans and from the sideline, make sure you follow me on Twitter at boomy TCF. Um, my content is a lot happier than Zach's. I'm not the uh, the best gambler in the world, but I'm definitely not as bad as Zach right now. Um, but either way, um, either way, you know, just follow me on Twitter at Boomy TCF. Um, all of our podcasts are on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, so you can catch them all there. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts and follow us on Spotify. And also head over to the YouTube page, all of our weekly pick videos, all of these videos, all of our podcast videos. If you don't want to listen to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, you can watch us on YouTube if you're more of a YouTuber. Watch um, ugly faces. Yeah, I, I don't know I'll who would, it. but hey. Um, and a bunch of other content. We got some more stuff rolling out. I actually had a big breakthrough. I've only been doing podcasts and stuff for like a, a, like a year and or a half plus, and I just figured out how to do some of the technical stuff on my own. So we're going to get some more content rolling out at you, but stay tuned. And like I said, head over to the YouTube page. Uh, just type in typical Chicago fans and subscribe. This is a Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday for some reason. It's if always have Monday having better, off throws us off. It's always better. I didn't have Monday off, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. um, but it's always better when it is a day uh, ahead, usually. Like last week, I thought it was Friday, and it was Thursday. Yeah. That's a killer. Um, but we will get it going here. Let's start off. Let's talk about a little football. The Bears are back. We play the New Orleans Saints at Soldier Field, another 3 o'clock game. Uh, we've only had one noon game all year. Uh, not gonna. Have, Akeem Hicks has gone on the IR. For, so is Kyle Long. Yeah, Kyle Long is out for the season with the hip. And he I lost think an offensive just, and a defensive lineman. But I think um, we lost hours. Akeem Hicks. We are replacing. I mean, I don't think he – I think they were going to make a move. They needed to make a move. Um, and I know he had the hip problem, but right. it's not like – Akeem Hicks, we're losing a player that we – I've been depending on uh, with Kyle Long. We're kind of weird. They, they wanted to mix the uh, mix it up a little bit on the offensive line. It sucks. I love Kyle Long. I, I think love he's him a, too. He's I mean, great he's been a great dude. player, but the injuries have just um, have caught up to him. Unfortunately, yeah. um, a player like him, his size at that position, it's just that's going to happen. It's good. Yeah, he's, that's the problem. Man. He's a it's Pro like, Bowler. He's made. He's going to make some great money. And right, he played like all of his college eligibility out right he went to junior college then he played at oregon, oregon yeah and but he got hurt injuries. i think 
Yeah. So he's year, a, he's a little bit older, um, and the, you know the Bears move up in the draft and take him. I think he was a great pick. He did. He's exactly, a great player for the yeah, Bears, and he's a great representative of the team. But, but it just sucks when injuries, you have to replace it, a guy mid season. Yeah, uh, but I think he said I, they they may have made a change either way. I, but yeah. I think the injury is why he's been. Uh, struggling uh, uh, quite a bit at – I wouldn't say quite a bit. I hate to say that. I hate to be that way. Uh, but Charles Leno, yeah, the most penalized player in the tough. league, needs to step it up. I don't know what's going to happen um, if they keep struggling at that position because, like you said, you can't just automatically throw another guy in there and expect the flow to just stay the same. Oh, for sure. You got some questions over there? Bro? Uh, no, just uh, a couple people chiming in, a couple people joining in. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, – Glad to see as, as many people as we have. Yeah, share if you'd like. We'd really appreciate it. We're just out here talking nonsense. But, yeah, I think it's a big week for the Bears, right? You go to London. You have 14 days after a tough loss. You may have Mitch back this week. You may not. It's still kind of up in the air. I, say uh, we, but, I think we will. Uh, see, I'm not as optimistic as you from an outsider's perspective. I think that – if he's 75% or higher and he wants to give it a go, let him go. If he's not 75%, don't risk it um, because you're not eliminated if you do lose this game. And unfortunately for you guys, the Saints are playing really good football right now. So it's what's the fine line that you risk bringing him in at, at maybe an not 100% level versus like how bad you feel you need this win because of where you're sitting at in the division, especially Green Bay. And, and I'll be the first to admit it. I'm a diehard Green Bay fan. The Lions got screwed, but listen, that's Sick. football. We've talked about this a million times. It's football. Referees are going to miss calls. They have missed calls all year. It, it is what it is. Like but you the, just the, have to. The, the, the man on the field is a tough one to miss. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't disagree, but like this literally happens to everybody. And there's actually a still frame from that face, the hands to the face mask that proves that that might have been a, the right call. So <laughs> I'm just tired of seeing every, every, every single thing is an overreaction. Yeah, it's the Lions. They seem to get screwed a lot. But, hey, it's hard to feel bad for them because it is Detroit. But, I mean, you see the Bears slip another game. I mean, they are in third place right now because the Lions lost. Um, how much is it a sense of urgency where you might think about rushing Mitch back because you feel that sense of urgency sitting in third place right now? I don't think you're in a spot that you have to rush him back because I would say, yeah, yes, you don't want to lose this week, but if they were to lose the season, right. it's not completely over. But, um, yeah, I mean, with it being the non-throwing shoulder, um, it's kind of yeah. just is it if you're going to be in a position to hurt it worse is where you don't want it the uh, thing to I risk look at anything. That, but if it's pain, I guess it's just whatever he can do. Whatever he can handle. With pain, the, If it was Tom Brady that had a shoulder injury in his non-throwing shoulder, then I would be would not be concerned. Yeah, the way Mitch a, plays, that's the, his, as, that's his game. Yes, and, as and mobile as Mitch That's is. how you can mix it up in his game with uh, the run and pass, but if you take away the run, then they're going to be able to hone in strictly on the pass. And he and hasn't maybe, been a great passer Especially with that offensive line. If they're going to bring more and more guys right. at him, well, then it's a, uh, kind of scary to think about. But um, if he's out there, then you're just going to have to think that he's going to be able to do everything that he's, uh, so sure. his game has been. But so either, sure. it's yes, you want to see him out there, but even if it's Chase Daniel – uh, it's up to that offensive line to do something it's to, to protect that quarterback. Because in London, he did not have time at all. Um, and one of those interceptions, yes, there was one of them. I think was on him, but the other one that he kind of just threw up there, um, that was on the offensive line for not giving him enough time in that moment. Absolutely. Now we want to start. Let's take a look at the games coming up this week. Tomorrow night we have Denver hosting the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs are a three point favorite. Game Big for game the for Chiefs the Chiefs because you've lost two in a row now, uh, and you're going into Denver, a place where it's always hard to play, mm -hmm. even if you're a good team. Because of it's the altitude, right? Yes, that's right. And uh, actually, taught my sixth grade. You don't want. Today. There we go. Should have sat in. I should have sat in. And next time, like Facetime me, maybe I, got I can. You. I can I got listen you. in. Um, but it, you don't want to lose three in a row. You don't want to go to. Are they four and two right now? Yes. So the four and two. Uh, you don't want to go to four and three. I understand that's a crazy thing to say, but you don't. With being them. You're you've now you've pretty much already kind of lost, I think, home field advantage because the yeah. Patriots schedule is just set up to right. win that. Um and you just as a team, uh with 
uh, Patrick Mahomes having that ankle injury, you don't want to drop a game uh, that you're better than the team. Again, right. and you've already lost two games that you probably should have won. Uh, the Texans, I can't believe they won that game. Texans are playing good ball right I understand now. They that, roll but and... with the spot that they – that fumble was insane. Yeah. Um, not insane just for the what happened, but for gamblers. Yes. And uh, people who – you at this point, you can't trust the Chiefs. You can, as much as we win this season, yes, uh, Patrick Mahomes, this and that, but you, at this point, you can't trust this team. I agree. That defense is coming back to bite them yet. Last year, they were in a bunch of shootouts. Um, there's high scoring games, but at this point, you're trying. You're seeing that you can only go into those games so many times. Right. Uh, also, in the noon games on Sunday, we have the Packers hosting the Raiders. Um, six and a half point favorites. Um, I, I love Green Bay in Lambeau against anybody. Um, they've proven, you know, that they can take on. And they, even if they have to go on the road, I mean, let's just. I get I'm a Packers fan, but the Packers are playing good football right now. And it's not – the defense isn't the best. The offense isn't the best. But they're in the top 10-ish at yeah. times. Obviously, there's there's times when they're not. But they're playing good football. And I think that Oakland – I think the Packers are going to win. Um, Troy said he'll be at the game, so make sure you send us lots of Snapchats, buddy. Um, I'm excited for this one. And, and it'll be a good opportunity um, for the Packers to kind of come back off, off that weird game on, on Monday night and see what they have. If they can revenge, you know, a lot of people are saying they didn't deserve that win, but now is your opportunity to come back and, and slap someone in the mouth. And being a Bears fan, this may sound like, uh, oh, yeah, but uh, this Oakland team is pretty decent. I they're wouldn't say they're better good. Than they're advertised. better than advertised. Yes. Um, I don't know if I'd go ahead and say decent. They're, no, they're, that's they're better my than decent, everyone originally My thought. decent is pretty much saying they're Which average. Oakland team. is actually yeah, really because, good. Because, they, I mean, they – They'll be in. They can win games. Yes, they're not like a team that is going. They're to... They're not the Dolphins. No, they're, they're not, not the, the Redskins. They they're can, a competent football team. Yeah, they're a competent football team. They have a, a good quarterback. I, I know we kind of hate it on Derek Carr, but I think he's having a good year. Yeah. Um, this defense is going to keep them in games. Yep. Uh, so I and think... also I didn't notice this. I heard this on the radio today. Did you know that one of the guys that was drafted with a Khalil Mack pick? I think scored like two touchdowns for the Raiders. That's something you would think would be more. I, I don't know where I heard that. Or maybe I don't John know if touchdowns, is, but had like some big, big receptions. John Gruden Raiders, is uh, riding there. high. He's oh, riding yeah. high. Um, but I think I wouldn't say uh, that Oakland's going to go in there and win, but it's, it's going, going to be, be a good game. game because yeah, this I, don't, game, per, I don't foresee a, a blowout. But like you said, anytime uh, Aaron Rodgers is at Lambeau, it's going to be a tough game. Miami Buffalo. Buffalo is probably Buffalo's going. Wagon right now. Buffalo's good, and Miami is b- bad, especially on the road. And color rush uniforms. Oh, the, that, those the, jerseys the red look on reds, beautiful. Baby. Those it, look beautiful. Are, do you? I'm a dumb human. I'm a dumb, dumb better. No. Do you t- put any stock in the uniforms a team is wearing when you, when yes. you gamble? Uh, me too. <laughs> Unfortunately, because I'm stupid too. <laughs> Dude, thank God. I was really hoping I'm I wasn't stupid. alone in that. Uh, um, I but, saw that today, and I'm like, I am hammering 17 the points. I don't know if I would Yeah, that's that a number, lot of points. Uh, but they will win the game. So, yes. uh, but and that, that historically, the Bills will win like 12 to 6 or something. Yeah, stupid. Rams go into Atlanta. Can the Rams turn it around? They, they are also a team like that's going to in the wrong right? direction. You would think. They're but, so the you were. You th- I thought that's the whole game against Tampa. I thought they were going to turn around, and they just couldn't. Uh, they lose to Seahawks by one. Tough game. And they get pantsed by the 49ers, get who pant- I think are a really good football 49ers team. 49ers are a good team, so they are uh, trending down, yep. and uh, the Falcons are as trended down as you can be also. So this is, uh, all, as weird as it would be, I think this is going to be a pretty – Awful game to watch. I I agree. I don't I don't foresee it being a great game, but I do like the Rams a lot in this one. I think they're going to bounce back just sooner or later. How about Jacksonville, Cincinnati? Anything in that one? Uh, Cincinnati's can Gardner Minshew uh, come back after a his first bad outing? Yep. Um, a lot of people were trying to say there's going to be a controversy for quarterback when Nick Foles comes back to get that game kind of. Uh, put that to rest in a way, mm-hmm. um, but can he come back and have a, a good game coming off of that? Because, like you said, it's kind of see how he can bounce back. Because 
any quarterback's going to have a bad game. Right. But it's how right. you can come back. Especially for a young year. guy in his first, you know, half of an NFL season. This game, and we'll talk about this on the show a little bit, uh, the pick show that we're going to record here after this. Detroit is at home versus the Vikings in a noon game. They are actually a one-point underdog. Um, Detroit's, you've, you're going to come out and slap someone in the mouth. Yeah, and you lost the way you did. The NFL came out and admitted they missed that that call. Can Kirk Cousins actually go on the road and win a big time game? Let's My money's see. on no. My money will be on no too. But they are one and a half point favorites in Detroit. Give me the money. Oh my gosh! Give me the money line and the spread. I think Detroit's going to beat them pretty bad. Yeah, I, I think agree. this is going to be one of those Kirk Cousins games where you're going to come out of it going, "Why are you giving him all the money? Uh, he can't hit any of his receivers." Uh, the Eagles defense, uh, Eagles secondary is so, so bad right bad. now, and everyone was just going on and on and on about how, oh, now you got the, you no, got Thielen happy, now you got Diggs happy, everyone's happy. No, they played a bad team in Minnesota yeah. where it's hard enough to play. I, I think this Minnesota team is over a little overrated for right sure. Second. But I also think Detroit. A Lundraid. I think they're a good team. Detroit's a very good team. I I, I think they're going to bounce back. I think something's good is going to come out of Texans. What Colt, I, I think this is going to be a very good game. Love I, that I, game. I, I like the Colts. I've liked them all season. See, and I, and love I think the, the Texans. Texans. And I think the Texans have turned it around. Uh, I have the not, Texans in my AFC they didn't championship. Started, they had a great start to the season, uh, but their defense is starting to ramp it up, uh, and I am excited for that. I mean, this is a great week. Uh, Arizona and the Giants. I think. Saquon could maybe be back this week, mm -hmm. and if he's back, I would take the three and I would run with it. Because well, that line will change if Saquon is back. I know, but, but I think if you, I understand on that. Now, but now, uh, I would even take it now. I think that this team um, can keep can stay Arizona in a game. Win two in a row. I just don't think that. I, I don't know if I trust uh, a brand new coach like Cliff Kingsbury as well as you know a, a rookie. Forty Niners, uh, the R words. I think that's going to be just uh, the Forty Niners going to go out. The only problem, and I've touchdowns. said this a million times, the Forty Niners are having to fly from San Francisco to Washington D.C. I would think for a noon kickoff game. That is a nine o'clock kickoff game for them. I understand that, but this team is rolling right now. I think they're going to want to get up for this game. Because, uh, I don't know, I think it's going to be a game where they can win by two, three touchdowns. Have two, fun, two, Gloria. Touchdowns. Gloria chimed in. Thanks for joining us tonight. She's going to be at the Packers game with Troy. Oh. Um, and I don't know about you, dude. Like, I just love live sporting events. I think we realized that this summer. Like, even if, even if we say, got a chance to go to a Bears I would, game. I would be. I would go, but i much rather watch a football game from the, my couch. Yeah, absolutely. Even baseball. I, mean, I like baseball. Um Hockey's so much fun. It's so much fun. Oh, I've already getting some hate. Yeah, I said uh, in a previous show I had the at Texans to the AFC Championship game. Um, yeah, I I think it's going to be them and the Patriots. I'm not convinced. And, and I said this back before. Tape on you? Yeah, you can run it. I, I've had it no, in my no, notes. I'm just saying I can't. I wouldn't. I don't know. No, he said I don't know that. if the Patriots are going to lose. I I agree, oh. but I don't think the Patriots are going to see the Texans because. No. Unless the Chiefs can get some, like some miracle out of their defense, I just don't foresee that happening. Uh, shout out Kyle Fredo. Um, hopefully Evan Ingram is going to be playing. He was questionable late, but he needs him in fantasy. That's kind of the story of Evan Ingram's career. Let's talk um, about the afternoon games. we got Chargers, Tennessee. I think the Chargers are not very good, and I think Tennessee is bad. Uh, they have benched Mariota. Really? I'm pretty sure they benched Well, Mariota. I think they pulled him in the game. They pulled, uh, oh, they benched him in the game. But I, I don't I, think well, it's going to be going forward. We'll see, though. I mean, he's been playing pretty bad. Uh, I Chargers guess. picking up two points on the road. You never know. Wait, uh, what? Yeah, the Titans are minus oh, two. Oh, I'm like, I, thought you, I didn't know what you were talking They're about there. two points. No, I get what you mean. Uh, Bears hosting like, the Saints. Right now, the Bears are a three-and-a-half-point favorite. Kind of love the Saints there. No. Especially if if Chase Daniel is going to play, I really don't think that the quarterback position matters in this game. Uh, it's the offensive line. If the offensive, because you've seen what Chase Daniel can do with a good line, uh, right, but, but yes, you would like start. I think, it, or, or that's going to be in. I think they're bringing him off the practice squad. I don't think they went out and signed up a, a professional ready. What are you talking about offensive line to replace? Kyle. I'm pretty sure they did have a guy in in line that was going to. Oh, I thought I had seen that they had shifted someone from the practice squad. Well, yeah, but I think that they had it in mind for. Yeah, a while but I, I don't know, man. I just don't know how much I. I, I just know 
Honestly, I don't trust practice squad guys in their first game ever. I think it's going to be a better offensive line because he's been hurt. It's been struggling. I think to throw a new guy in there uh, who I think either way is going to be better because he's not hurt. Um, he's And Kyle Long, I think, was going to get benched either way, uh, but it was because of the injury. So, uh, like I said, it sucks. I hate talking about it like that because I like yeah. Kyle Long a lot. Uh but I think this offensive line, either way, is going to be improved just with getting some healthy guy out there. Right, right. A healthy I agree. Er guy. I agree. Um, but we have, we have Baltimore, Seattle, Seattle. Uh, a five wagon. and one this year. I didn't really know they're that it's only a good fair, right now. Point favorite at home against Baltimore. Baltimore, who I do not think is very good. They've never, they haven't really beat any. I don't know. Have they beat a good team? Uh, no, no. Um, and their defense is not good. Lamar Jackson has had good games, but he hasn't been able to keep it going. Seattle's defense at home, the 12th, uh, yeah. that's going to be something Lamar Jackson has not seen yet. Um, and I think that I think Seattle three and a half, I would take that. Eagles, uh, Sunday Dallas. Night, yeah, if, if, if Dallas, Philly I think, can is, play any defense, I just, I just am not convinced that. That Dallas is a great football. I think these are two not very good. Like yeah. I keep saying that not very good teams. someone's just going to have to win that division. Yeah, someone's going to have to win the division. And then New England Jets, another game where it's yeah. like what the Patriots schedule. Now we have a, a fan submission that says uh, the Bears are collapsing. How much of a it kind of we've talked about this? How much of the panic button have you hit on the Bears right now? None. I mean, None. it's the game sucked. I hated it. You hate to lose any game, but to put a panic button uh, with what this defense is—you haven't proven, even taken it out of the table, out, no. out of the drawer yet. No, it's not even sitting on the on the table. No, no, no. This defense is too good to be even be doing that. As a Bears fan, that's what I think you do. We've done too much in the past. It's definitely reaction because if you remember right, the week before when Mitch got hurt, well, this is the, same the defense gave up six points. This this is the same record they had last year going into the bye. Oh, I didn't so know. I don't think that. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so I'm not really too nervous about it. I wouldn't say I'm going to pull out the pan button. Yes, they can be pulled out at some point this year. Sure, but to pull it out right now would be uh, a little crazy. Okay, because I mean, this defense can keep you in games, and if Mitch comes back, this offense has players on it that can keep you in games also. So I, I, I think to. To pull out the panic button would be a little much. All right. Be, I don't, uh, I don't you'd be disagree. Doing, you'd be stressing your out, yourself out for no reason just yet. Just yet. I wouldn't say that you can uh, have it sitting somewhere like it's a <laughs> little door you can open. Yep. You haven't unlocked the door yet. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say do that right this second. Um, that's all we got on the NFL. Check out. Uh, it'll be on tomorrow on our YouTube page, our pick show. If you want to probably fade us right now, we're both pretty terrible. Um but if you want our gambling picks, those will be out tomorrow morning. Let's jump into some college football. I don't believe there is a single ranked versus ranked matchup this week. Oh, we do have one. We have Oregon and Washington. The 12th ranked Ducks head to um, the 25th ranked Huskies. Oregon's playing some pretty good football. They lost week one, uh, kind of struggled there late in, in a very weird finish. I think Oregon's going to get themselves back into the top 10. It's going to be a big test here going into Washington. We also have Arizona State, Utah. Oh, that'll be a good one. So that's two ranked teams. Okay, so I, I haven't scrolled down that far. Um <laughs> So cut me a little slack here. Arizona State, both of them are sitting at 5-1. and one. I think this is going to be a battle for the best team. 13.5 uh, is a lot of points. Yeah. A it, lot of points for Utah, for a team that uh, didn't even cover that own spread against NIU. So Hey, hey take it easy. I'm just saying. I'm just um, saying. And then also our other make matchup, obviously, I think the best game of the week, Penn State hosting Michigan, Penn State an eight-and-a-half point. If, if Jim Harbaugh wants to stay beyond this year, he's got to win either this game or or the Ohio State game. Yeah. You've got to win one of the two, and you might as well get it out early. I think Penn State's a wagon at home, um, and I'm just not convinced that Michigan is that good of a football team. Um, you do have some other matchups. We've got Alabama and Tennessee. They should just roll them. Boise State, I know they're not ranked, but they will be traveling to BYU, who I still think is a pretty good football team. Um, BYU sitting at 2-4. and four. I think they're still going to bounce back. I think you're still going to see a little run out of the Cougars, um, and that's never an easy place to play. Uh, out in uh, or out at BYU. So 
Couple other Florida, wins. South Carolina could be a South good Carolina, game. South Carolina, I can have a big win. See, I love Georgia. that because their their spirits are so high. Florida's I, the problem is I believe that game is at South Carolina. So I mean, yeah, it's at South so, Carolina, uh, coming off a big win. Uh, Florida coming off a tough loss. Egoy chiming in. He said uh, he crushed the panic button after week one. No offense. Oh. Bears need to draft a quarterback. You there live, it is. You, you live. It on, took us 22 you, minutes to you get live to Egoy. Oh, he doesn't. Even, you live on the panic. Yes, buttons, it so. doesn't leave Egoy. Uh, Josh Joseph chiming in. I think he's talking about my comment about the Texans, or maybe he's talking about the Bears. Let me read this. The defense is great, but that doesn't matter if they can't uh, get rest off of the field, and the offense can't make that happen. I already got the panic button in on the offense, so it'll be a big one, I think, to see here. Um, this week as as you do see some of the shifts, and I think it's going to be a big one. I don't – you're optimistic. Obviously, you're you're going to be a little more optimistic than I am uh, because you're being a Bear, you being a Bears fan. But um, if, if Mitch is back, then yes, I, I feel like you can rest on the panic button. But if it's a Chase Daniel-led offense, that panic button to me is is a little bit hotter than maybe – Maybe it would have uh, been if Mitch is at the helm. We all have our own opinions on the panic button. <laughs> uh, do we want to talk about baseball? Yeah, man. man. Nationals. I lo- Nationals. Oh, hey. You hate to see Sweep it. Sweep the to Cardinals. See it. You hate it's to so see sad. it. You hate to see it. Um, the Cardinals just took, oh, I just don't know. Just got their asses what beat. Happened. It was beautiful. It was awful. You hate if to I see can't it. see the Cubs win a playoff series, I'd love to see the Cardinals lose. Well, I just don't and then see the cherry on top. Sweep. Sweep. Beautiful thing. Sweep. Love it. Egoy, uh, 28. All right, 18 points, Egoy. He said Saints, 28, Bears, 10, plus 18, five bucks, Dude, my man. Just keep them rolling. Bears fan would type that out. He, he claims to be a Bears fan. He claims to be a Cubs fan. I don't care if I the claim Bears were the worst the team in the league right now. I'm not picking against them. Nationals, like that. yeah. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. That's um, rude, we did get a honestly. postponement in the ALCS today. A lot of um, rain in New York. Yeah. I think the Astros, they pick up a win on the road. Um, they're, I think it's – I actually – I think this helps them. They I get agree. to rest one more day. Because it was they going can, to be a bullpen day. Yeah, it's going to be a bullpen Yankees day. the Yankees have a little bit of an advantage in that category. I think if they can get one of their starters healthy, uh, they're going to be Cole. tough. Yeah, uh, Garrett Pat, Cole. Oh. My, was he 18-0, and 19-0 in his last 19 starts? Something That's crazy like insane. that. Or he's lost. It hasn't lost a game in his life. Insane. Like one, e, a one point two ERA. That guy, he's going to be making a lot of money yeah. next year. Someone's going to cut a big check. Pat chiming in. Boise. You're a Sox fan. You hope that's where he lands. There's no way he's going to White Sox. But I mean, that's no a spot shot. where you would go. Give me the farm. I'll take it. Or the uh, give me everybody. Give me the field. I'm sorry, not the farm. Um, Pat saying, that's chiming how in. Boise rebuild ranked works. 15th power rank. I think Boise State's a good football team, man. They but proved it's not it. on the blue turf. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I'm BYU. saying. I think they're going to win the game, but I think it's going to be a dog. BYU fight. is a crazy place Even to go B- play. BYU sitting at two and four is still a tough place to travel. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if Boise can win this game, I think they're going to be in blue good turf. Shape. I, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with 100%, you. Hundred percent, man. Um, man go Gators. Go Tigers. We're going to be Florida's going to be playing in a, a Final Four in like five years, I think, if Dan Mullen stays at Florida. How do you say that? How do you say that? We're f- Five and one. We our only losses in Death Valley with a backup quarterback, and we're just getting some dudes in. We were like the ninth ranked recruiting class. We'll be playing in a Final Four in five years. <laughs> Mark it. I'll buy my tickets now. Go Gators. Yeah, we don't. Know. Great, you bought yep. a ticket for five years. That's gonna yep. be an awesome bet to really watch. Yeah, it a will five be. year bet. That's just I, I. I play for the future. Um. Big news, in, in, not really in the Cubs realm, but kind of Cubs related. Um, Joe Madden. Joe Madden. Hired by the Angels, the Angels back to where he started. Did he start coaching there? I believe that was his first head coaching gig. Yeah, like, well, he got like 10, 12 million or something yeah, like that. 12 good to 15, money. I heard. Like three year deal. Um, I mean, that's a good spot for him to go. He's going to love the weather. He's going to love it out there. Uh, they're going to love him as a coach. He's a good coach. I mean, for yeah. the players. He's uh, great for where they're sitting. They're sitting at a spot. If they can clear up the Albert Pujols contract, which I think runs up either at the end of this year or next, um, they can get some money off the books, maybe bring in a couple free agents, and, and they're going to be sitting in a spot. I mean, I know their farm system is not what the Cubs was, no. uh, but he's going to be sitting in a spot where I think um, 
the A's have shown it. The Rays have shown it. You can go from last to first in the matter of a short period of time. Uh, they pick up, a, and at the end of the day, they have Mike Trout. I've been convinced you know, by Barstool Carl oh, that I want Gabe Kapler oh. as my player development okay. coach. I, I think, say, I think it was what he said. Coach. I think he said player development or something like that, some position within yeah. there, which he's the, one of the best coaching at that spot. Yeah. And the bench coach from the Astros, I think I like. Okay. Uh, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't remember his name, but he. They say you could say he's he can do what he has a ceiling that hopefully can just go right through it. The when we win World Series, coach is. Um, oh, that's in Spanish. I can't read that. Uh, Joe Espada. Okay, and he has proven himself to be able to coach on a good team in their spot where they've kept him around. Uh, he's been wanted by other teams. And David Ross has proved nothing. I mean, I understand we'd like I'd like David Ross, but he hasn't even co- yeah. been a bench coach, really. He, right. I don't even mind done. bringing him on as a bench coach. That's what coach. I mean. Yeah. And he's proven himself to be a bench coach on a very, very successful team and been liked and everything. Right. So I just like the comfort of knowing that you, you there's something there. You I know agree. there's something there. But – I'm also here's on the spot the only, where I think David Ross is going to be the coach. Yeah, here's my only counter-argument to the Joe Espada thing. I think the Astros are such a well-run organization that just taking one guy from them might might not pay off the dividends. But you, what you just said by saying they're a well-run organization, keeping them around, he's been there, I think, for the last few years, Yeah, and he's learned from them. And he can take some of that and hopefully maybe right. take it to the Cubs. I agree. I agree. And I'm not, I'm but just I saying. just think it's it, – it just worries me when you take, like, one specific guy out of something. Like, there might even be things in the Astros organization that I think are so well run that he might not even have anything to do with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, front office-wise. Um, and, and obviously – There's know, pros and cons yeah, to absolutely. both guys. Um, but I think, unfortunately, I, I, I just don't know, man. I just don't know if David Ross – I think he's just a yes man. I think he's going to do what Theo tells but him to do. But he can also be a guy that is just not supposed to be a coach. You just no. don't know. Igor said he wants Joe Girardi. Joe Girardi is not going to be the manager of this team. I he should be the manager of this team. I think he's going to be the manager of the Mets. If, if he was brought in, it, it, we would literally – everybody complains that Joe would not do what – the front office wanted him to do. You think Joe Girardi, who yeah. is less of a people person than Joe Madden, is going to do what Theo Epstein tells him? He has him? less. To, he has. There's they, a, it's the exact reason he got ran out of New York because he wouldn't do what Brian Cashman asked him to do. It's the ex- go read a news article. It's the exact reason he is not coaching in the ALCS right now. Oh well, yeah, because he would refuse to do what Brian Cashman in the front office told him to do. And I kind of like that in a coach in a way. Yeah, but if at the same if time, you like, like, but no, no, no. What I'm saying is. There's a reason why he's. I've just gone out on him not being a coach is because he has nothing. If he wants to go in there, he can go in there, not and get fired in three years and be able to get a job somewhere else. David Ross, this is your first yeah, job. Yeah, you're right there. Uh, you have a lot less to lose, right? Or a lot right. more to lose. I mean, sorry. Uh, so I think the Girardi is not going to happen. I've already no. forgotten about that. I think David Ross is going to be the coach, but I, I just we'll see how it goes. But yeah. the Gabe Kapler, as a coach within the – not even a coach, but a player development person, I think would be a – from what I've heard, could be a very big move. Yeah. Josh agreeing Breaking with us. News, if, if David Ross is the head coach um, – manager is the right term. Uh, you might as well oh, toss any – I know. I was just kidding. Any tough um, – Toss any thought of another series run out the window. It's such an emotional hire. I don't disagree there. Um, even Matt says he's way out on Ross. I don't know. Uh, I didn't. You know, Ego is saying he didn't know he clashed with management. This is literally the reason he got ran out in New York. They, they fired him because him and Brian Cashman hated each other, and he wouldn't do. But uh, I could, what uh, was a lot, there's been a lot of. Uh, problems with Cashman too. I yeah, mean, but look, they're playing in an ALCS right now for well, like the I, third year in a row. I mean. I know, but the Yankees gotta, could have a lot of people running that organization with the bankroll yeah, they yeah. have. That 
you can never really say, oh, they went on a playoff run. They're supposed to make a playoff run yeah. every year. They make so much money. Josh said he agreed. He noticed it as soon as he posted it that it was supposed to be manager, not head coach. Okay. Yeah. Like said, okay. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Josh. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. about you know all we got. But we got to talk about something in a, a little bit of a segment. Um, there's, you know, you're what, 24? Yes. I'm 29. The world's just kind of changing around us, man. And it, I don't know. There's times I like it. There's times I don't. But a, a listener had brought this to our attention. Shout out, Pat Beals. Um, w- you were very confused by this new thing called an impossible whopper. Have you heard of such an impossible whopper? What no. was your first thought when you heard the two words impossible and whopper? It would be impossible to eat. So you were expecting like yeah, a burger, burger. Like, like the size when of the I saw bar. the name on it, I'm like, this looks like nothing that I would think would be That's impossible amazing. about it. That would be like almost like so a I mean, tag team, yeah, right? You have to get like three eat. friends and then you get to eat the thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what it actually is, Zeg, is a, a meatless alternative Whopper. So there's no meat in this Whopper. Gross. All right. Let's talk about this. What do you think it's made out of? What did, you, what did it say? Veg? What did it say is on it? it? Well, uh, I'll tell you in a second, but what do you think? I, it's thought, I, I know. I looked at you. Show me the picture. Yeah. Is it vegetables or something? Yeah, it's it's basically like a – so they it's like a vegetable mash um, from what I understand. Now, no meat, impossible to eat. That's what Pat's chiming in. Uh, uh, all right, man. I get if you want to be vegan or you know, vegetarian or whatever, but, like, stay away from Burger King. If you've made that choice, then you've forfeited the decision to get and to you're eat. You're telling me. Burger King just making these fresh vegetable meat. Fresh burgers. is kind of a borderline. That's term what I'm just saying. If you're trying to be like this big vegan, I don't think you, I don't King. think you're going to Burger King. Yeah, that's that's definitely part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's like um, I didn't know Burger King was really looking at the like vegan community, like as, as a, a market. As a market. Yeah. I don't know, I man. It was, I was wrong. I guess I could so, say well, that's why I don't own a, a big burger. This business. was brought up to us, like you said, by Pat Beals. Um, so I think what our next video we're going to have to do, maybe do it this weekend, maybe the coming weekend. We'll do it this we're weekend. We're going to have to go down to Burger King and try an Impossible Whopper. Now, I'm this is going like to be hard. The, I want to get into can this. Can we put ketchup and mustard on it and stuff? Oh, yeah. you have to. I think there's, like, lettuce and tomato. Like, it's a regular Whopper, but the burger is made out of, like, vegetables and shit. Okay. I just didn't know if we were keeping it. I guess this is going to be tough for me because, and I actually want to talk about this is just, you know, a little bit of segment here. The Whopper is my favorite fast food sandwich. I'm a Burger King over McDonald's guy. I'm a Wendy's over McDonald's. We're going to talk about this here in a second, but this is going to take like, this is all the places you do like more than McDonald's. Yeah. I, 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 cause I know you're a McDonald's guy and I don't like McDonald's. I'm not really a McDonald's guy at all. You eat McDonald's. Well, yeah, I guess you have slowed down. You well, it's, have McDonald's it's the guys. one spot. Yeah, that it is on your, it's on the way from like your house to my house. I don't go there because I'm like, Oh yeah. I, I love it. <laughs> um, what are your – we do our scale out of four. We haven't even tried it yet. What's your original – what do you think an impossible Whopper is going to be on a scale of four? I don't know. We'll see. We'll do, we'll do our scale I think, we do it. I'll be honest, man. I'm not even, I haven't even tried it yet. All right? I'm not looking – I don't think I'm it's going to be good I'm thinking about a 1.1. 1. 1. I don't think it's going to be good. Because I think you can mask it enough so that the, our dumb brains will be like, oh, this kind of tastes like a Whopper. Well, I can put ketchup and mustard on That's why I think we should maybe leave the ketchup and mustard maybe off. Maybe we'll maybe I'll do first our first bite. bite. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be a, I like see a myself one to one it away, one. not eating all of it. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll definitely have to do that this this weekend. Um, but let's talk about this. Um, you, if you had to pick one fast food joint, like it, you're in, let's say in Chicago, in Rockford, in Bloomington, you have any choice of place to go. Where's your number one spot, man? I would have to say a big Wendy's. Guy. All right, good. We can a agree on that. Big Wendy's guy. This is going to be a little controversial because I do love Wendy's. I love a good burger, but it's Taco Bell all day, man. Oh no, Taco Bell all day, every day. Um, you are a bigger Taco Bell fan than. But me. I have a bone, and if anyone knows anyone at Taco Bell, you get them on the line because I got a bone to pick. They are getting rid of two of my favorite menu items: double XL grilled stuffed burrito with steak, gone. And double decker taco gone. Because that is a damn Culver's travesty. taking away the pretzels with cheese. 
I didn't know they well, had pretzels. They had pretzel cheese. bites with cheese, and they were amazing. You get them at Culver's. Now they're gone. I didn't even know that was a thing. I would go to Culver's more if they would advertise these things. Just get an order of pretzels with cheese and some cheese curds. Game over. We need to go to Arby's too. Pat oh, brought that up. Week. No, God, I mean you kind of give that up, or you poop like every day but, for a week for like seriously, six times. I was so happy that they were there, and I went the other day, and they said, "Oh no, they're gone." What? Saddest thing I've ever That's heard. That's terrible. What are your thoughts on that. Arby's? Pat brought this up. Arby's, not the biggest fan. No. I like it. I, I usually get the uh, the roast beef with like the che- a cheesy roast beef or whatever. But yep. I'm not the biggest fan. Matt, like Matt's going to Taco Bell right now, my man. Your aunt Becky said Portillos. It's hard to argue with, but it's not really close. That's our problem. I like Portillos. If you're in an area where there's a Portillos, yeah, you swing through, you get a beef, get some fries. I'm a big Portillos guy. Love Portillos. Um, my thoughts the on beef. Arby's, it's tough for me, um, but it, it's hard because our local Arby's, a friend of mine worked there for literally two days. He couldn't go back on day three because it was so disgusting that he could not go back into it. Well. And I like Arby's. I think they have some really good sandwiches. I don't know how you can say both of that stuff like within the same few sentences. Well, because like I've been to Arby's that aren't our local Arby's. I know. Duh. Um, let's see, two euros for six bucks. Man, I just can't bring myself to go to the local one. That's all. Um, oh, he's in the drive-thru right now. Um, five guys. Five guys is fire, man. Uh, it's another one, though. It's like Portillo's. It's not really local. Um I, I don't know about you. How about what do you feel about Sonic? I like. I actually, I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that I style. Been, I haven't been so disappointed in you in a while. I think it's weird. It is kind of weird. I think it's I weird to do that. But just don't sit in the car hop thingy. Just I go through the drive through like a normal ass person. I was just saying you sit there like it's the best thing is when I lived at the when I lived in Rockford. We had like two or three of them there. And, like, if you would go late enough at night, you could get, like, a giant cup of ice cream for, like, $1.50. And it was pretty sweet. I, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of the food there, but the food the is not done, great. The way it's done, I'm not a fan of. The food, like, I don't know if I've ever eaten, like, the regular food. in there more than, like, All right, we got to talk about this, Matt, because I don't think that Jersey Mike's is that good. Oh, yeah, I'm out on Jersey Mike's. I've had it twice, and I'm like, nah, nah. Not a big fan. Pot well, belly. Subway or Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's. Oh, see, I'm a Subway guy. Oh, my gosh. I like so I like Jimmy John's. I just wish the sandwich was a little bit bigger. Hmm. You can pay, like, the, the same price. Is just, the bread is fire. The bread is fire. The bread is fire. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is average. Chick-fil-A? And they like gay people, so. What? Chick-fil-A's owners have funded a lot of money towards anti-gay propaganda. And You're looking at a lot of these big businesses. Well, I'm not a lot of weird disagree. stuff going but on. I just think that, like, Chick-fil-A, everybody's like, oh, my God. Like, dude, it's a chicken sandwich. Well, they're all, it's pretty good. It's okay. But also, and now open on Sunday. Yeah, what that the hell? Me, uh, that That's ridiculous. I guess I get it. It's religious. Chipotle, uh, I I probably eat way more Chipotle. I get Chipotle at least once a week, so shout out, Maddie. I I actually almost ordered Chipotle. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna name, I think we're just going to name off. I'm every, getting hungry, so this is where this conversation every, uh, is. Garlic burger with a chocolate shake and steak. Matt, or Josh, steak and shake's low-key underrated. I like steak and shake. Love Big a good fan. steak and shake. Get a couple. You get a, a – is it a double-double? Is that what they call it? Yeah. With and then you get cheese two fry. double-doubles of cheese. You get a fry. get a shake. You won't, eat, you won't need to eat for like 12 hours. That's that's what they call sticky the Brian Bloomer's. Food. Yeah, man. That's <laughs> breakfast in the Bloomer's house, so then you don't have to eat till dinner. You enjoy 52 ounces of Diet Mountain Dew somewhere in the middle of the day, you're good to go. Candy bar, maybe? You, maybe. If, if you got a little <laughs> extra change in the pocket, you can get a candy bar. Tom and Jerry's, that's another low-key one. Well, that's not really fast food, though, Pat. It depends how fast you want to eat it. Can't All go right. wrong with euros. I think we got to wrap this little. I like uh, where this conversation. I might just do it when you leave. I might just come back live and just talk fast food. With we're talking fast hour. food till nine o'clock at night. Yeah, they, I'll just do an hour on fast food. Yeah, I could too. I, I eat way too much fast food. Well, we can talk about fast food. There's just so much. There is so much fast food. Yeah, but like wrap it up. I mean, the Blackhawks pick up a win last night. First, that was nice year. to see. Um. It's gonna be fun. I think they, this defense has got to play better, but I think that the offensively they can do what uh, they can do it. Um, but Jonathan Tate's not off to the best start. But yeah, it's only four games in the season. What what do I know? For sure. But um, I think 
What? Pat says it's fast the way you guys eat it. Yeah, man, we got to eat fast. We got hockey games to get to. Because every time he goes to Tom and Jerry's, either probably usually before a hockey game or got to eat fast. the ice hogs? Well, there's one in Rockford and there's one in DeKalb. So. Big yeah, ice yeah. hogs fan? We got to eat fast. We got to we gotta go. Yeah, you go into that. Big, uh, but yeah, I think the game. Blackhawks. I think they just got to get a couple things figured out. Bulls tip off uh, Sometime, next week. I think October twenty fourth. I think which this is next week. Oh uh, yeah, but I don't know. Twenty second. I thought we looked that up the other the night. Twenty second. So. so which is like Tuesday. But, um, uh, they're yeah, coming around. Good, but how do you know? Looking improved. Start. Let's just say that. I don't know if I'm going to say if I'm. Yeah, I guess I'm willing to say good yet, but I'm definitely willing. I think to say Kobe, improved. Kobe White really changes the game up uh, with the way he can push Boy, it up so and down fast. the court. So uh, fast. So I think that can really. Change the style of play. Uh, it's maybe kind of more what Jim Boylan wants to do is get it going up and down the court. Um, I forgot Jim Boylan was coach. I yeah, just said that out loud. Kind of hurts my wow. heart still. Uh, but like I said, who knows what's going to happen with that? It's kind of just uh, kind of feel it out for the first 20, 30 games of the year and see what they look like. Absolutely. But thank you for watching a Tuesday edition. No, Wednesday. Damn it. I did it. I thought I knew that. I thought it was Tuesday, and then it was Wednesday, and then I just said it was Tuesday. What a day. Um, but thank you for watching us here on Weekdays with TCF, presented by From the Sideline. If you want to follow me on Twitter, uh, it's at Zloya, L-I-L-J-A-T-C-F. Uh, the main page is at typical underscore Chicago. Uh, from the Sideline, just type in From the Sideline if you want in the search bar there. Or at Sideline with the first I is a one sport again that is uh, sideline the first eye is a one sport uh you're watching us here on typical chicago fans facebook page we do this show every week on weekdays Damn, there I'm, you I'm, go. Like, trying to figure that out. i was like trying to figure that out on the fly there uh we do every we do once a week uh between tuesdays and thursdays between seven and eight uh or whenever we can kind of get to it with our schedules with boomy being a coach over here uh, the schedule is going to get a little bit crazier here because we're getting into basketball season. Yeah, basketball man, season. right around the corner. Right around the corner here. Uh, and then from the sideline on Facebook and then Instagram, typical Chicago fans, and from the sideline. If you want to uh, check out our ping pong thing, we do a little pre-podcast ping pong. Uh, we're get, we we can't – no one can separate themselves. No. But we post it on our Instagram, like on the – as I said, <laughs> typical Chicago fans, freaking Instagram. There you so go. We got to – Let's just wrap it up. We got like I think everyone knows the show's over, so they're just leaving. Yeah, shout out, Josh said you guys are awesome. Thanks for uh, this is thanks for the entertainment. Thanks for joining in, man. We appreciate having you. Just follow me on Twitter at Boomy TCF. All the podcasts on Apple uh, Podcasts and Spotify. Head to the YouTube page. We will be having our impossible Whopper Burger review this that coming this weekend. So Friday, possibly. I have a massage. So. I gotta get that taken care of first. So, okay, I don't think it's gonna take you unless all you're night. gonna give me a massage. Never. <laughs> oh, damn, it was worth Never. a try. <laughs> it was worth a try. Um, but yeah, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts. Peace. Peace.